Today, I'm gonna to show you step-by-step -step how I built my own AI sales assistant from scratch. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how you can build your very own AI-powered assistant to streamline your sales workflow. Let me show you exactly how I did it, so you can follow along and build one yourself. So why did I decide to build an AI sales assistant? I needed a way to automate the repetitive tasks. Things like scheduling calls, sending follow-up emails, and even qualifying leads based on specific criteria. I realized that AI could handle most of these tasks, freeing up my time to focus on high value activities like closing deals. To build my AI assistant, I used a combination of the following tools. Zapier to automate the workflows and trigger actions. Zapier interfaces as our intake method, but any form entry software works. OpenAI's ChatGPT for natural language processing. Google Sheets to store leads and relevant data. And Gmail for sending follow-up emails. First things first, you need to map out your workflow. This is crucial because you need to decide what tasks you want your AI to handle and how it will interact with your data. I will be taking the position of an agency owner that provides automation services for customers. In the automation we build, our AI agent will take the information that we receive from our prospect in the form and create a tailored follow-up email, identifying their problems and generating automation ideas to help. So my AI agent would trigger when a new form is submitted, identify the lead's pain points based on their response, then identify how the pain points can be automated and improved, then creating a custom email to be sent to the lead. Let's dive in and start automating. So to start the automation, what we're gonna to wanna to do is using the Zapier interfaces, uh, build a form that our prospect is going to be able to fill out. Um, so I've already gone ahead and done that. So we can see here um, that I've just selected the form option uh, and created a number of fields um, to collect information from any individual who comes across this form and decides to fill it out. Um, so asking for some pretty basic information here, um, company name, the individual's name, their email, a description of their business, um, asking them their familiarity with automations, along with a pain point that their business is struggling with, and then we are also gonna ask um, what kind of software their company is currently using. So once we do provide an automation uh, solution, we're gonna have an idea of what we can uh, implement for them. So they're gonna be able to make their workflows more efficient. Um, so once we have this form completed, we're gonna be able to immediately go over to our Zap and just start building our automation. Um, so what we're gonna wanna do for our trigger event is actually just select interfaces and then from Zapier interfaces our trigger event is going to be um, when a form submission is created. We're going to go ahead and continue from there and then once we get to our configure we are going to go ahead and select the name of the interface along with the page. So go here and we're gonna select the newest form we've built and the form. And we will continue. Um, and I will go ahead and I will submit a test from the original form that I've built. Um, so we're gonna be able to test this automation as we go through and are building it. So we are going to use the example of a, so the company that we're gonna be filling out this form for is going to be a digital marketing agency. So we'll go with the fake company name of Marketing ABC. Um, we'll go with name Jacob Sirs and the email of Jacob at marketingabc.com, description of the business. We are a marketing agency. Which provides website building services for our clients. We also manage social media accounts and handle 
reviews for clients. For our case here, how would you describe your familiarity with automation? We'll go with uh, for advanced. Um, and the pain points we will enter for the marketing ABC, um, handling, payments from our customers, and we are currently manually posting all social media. And for your software that the company is currently using, we'll go ahead and we will uh, put in Stripe as the payment. And we will also add in here Facebook, Twitter, and the Vendasta CRM. And we will go ahead and submit that form. So now that that form's been submitted, we'll go back to our initial zap, uh, take in that test, and continue building our automation. So we'll select test trigger. And here we can see we have all of the information And here we can see we have all the information that I submitted from that form when we filled it out. Uh, so we're gonna continue with that um, line and then we are just gonna go ahead and add this to the Google Sheet so we have uh, that tracked in there. So we're gonna go to create a spreadsheet row, select our account, Um, and it's worth also mentioning, I have already created the spreadsheet um, and just given each of the columns the same title that the fields in our form are gonna have. So we will just enter form intake, company automation ideas. So now that we have this form in here, we will be able to just enter the fields. So zap company name again we can just go over here select and we can see those form options so we'll just go company uh, name we'll go contact email business description automation level here select the pain points that they entered from the form. And then additionally, the last field is the software used um, that they submitted from that form entry. So 
now that we hit continue, we can test that step and we can see that this will now fill in the top row within our Google Sheet. So we can see that that test was successful. Head over to that Google Sheet. Gotta love the spinning beach ball death. And now we can see that field has been filled out in our Google Sheet so that information has been recorded successfully. So as we go on to the next step here, what we're going to want to do is we're now going to create our ChatGPT agent that is going to be able to generate the new idea for automation that our prospect can implement and we're going to be able to assist them with to help them optimize their workflow. Um, so we'll just go ahead and add step um, and go ahead to uh, ChatGPT. Uh, choose our action event. And go conversation with assistant. And then select our account. I find that the best way to build an AI agent is to actually utilize ChatGPT to build that agent. This is because ChatGPT is gonna be able to use the language that your agent is gonna best understand, providing it with the exact steps to perform, ensuring you're gonna get the results you want. Um, so I'm gonna quickly hop into ChatGPT here, and, and I'm really just gonna tell it the information we've gotten. So here's the prompt we're gonna to send to ChatGPT to build our agent. I need an AI agent prompt that will take the information I provide and then assist me in coming up with automations that I can implement to solve the problem. I will provide the AI agent with a description of the business along with the business's pain points and the software that the company is currently using. The AI agent is going to need to help me craft an email for this prospect that will help convince them that I can assist them with their issues through automation and build them a workflow that will help them op operate more efficiently and effectively. So once we send this over through ChatGPT, it is gonna build our prompt that we're gonna be able to use in our Zapier automation. So as we can see here, it is coming up with our AI agent prompt. And we can simply copy this prompt and paste it directly into our Zapier automation. Awesome. Now we have our prompt in our ChatGPT agent in Zapier and all we have to do is add the fields that we collected from the form to the prompt so it's going to be able to use that information when it comes up with that personalized email. So we're going to go ahead and just directly in this same message add those new fields that we collected at the beginning. We can go here, business description, pain points, and then current software. And then to ensure that our automation is going to create a personalized email, we're just gonna put the name of the individual that we collected earlier into it as well. So 
So now that we've completed our step and built our AI agent, we're gonna go ahead and test it and see what the email that it comes up with looks like. So go ahead and hit continue and test step. And we can see here that we have had uh, here we can see we have a custom tailored email that we can now send to that prospect that initially filled out that form so now that we have that email we're going to go ahead and just add a gmail step to this action event. For our sake, we're just going to create a draft, but you can go ahead and just send it directly from this step if you'd like to. Select your account. Um, for the recipient, you just go ahead and select the email that they submitted initially when they filled out the form. So now for the body of the message in the Gmail step, we're just gonna go ahead and select what was outputted by our uh, AI agent. So we can put that in there. and add a subject. And just like that, you've created an automation where you're gonna be able to start with a form that a prospect fills out and create a custom tailored email. And you've done it, you've created your AI agent. And now, hopping over to our Gmail, I can see in my drafts that we have the fully customized email that's gonna be sent. Um, and we can see it's got that individual's name up here, along with the email that they submitted in that form initially. Our AI agent works. So there you have it. That's how I built an AI-powered sales assistant from scratch, step by step. With this assistant running, I've saved hours of manual work each week, and it's helped me close deals faster. If you found this helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more automation tutorials. If you have any questions about building your own AI sales assistant or need help getting started, drop a comment below, and I'll be happy to help. Until next time, happy automating.